Good morning, ESM. Today is October 6th. It's getting close to Halloween. Many people are getting their costumes, or already have them. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some costume ideas and some top picks that we thought were cool for you guys. We'll get started right after news with Elena. Robert Adams, a Syracuse man, has repeatedly told police that he didn't beat and kill his friend Charles Jones, even after police stated they've had multiple 911 callers and witnesses saying he was the offender. Adams, a 55-year-old drifter suffering from multiple mental illnesses, confesses that he could have been beaten Jones in a drunken fight. He also states that he's going to jail for something he didn't do. Turns out he was right. Police lied about the witnesses to try and get a suspect and pin the murder on an innocent man. In other news, last night, David G. Brownwell, a Seneca ex-convict, was arrested for groping a physically disabled person. He has since been charged with first-degree sexual abuse and forcible touching. The police have not released any information on the victim. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The morning weight room will be closed on Wednesday, October 6th. On Thursday, the weight room will be open from 3 to 5 p.m. because of the half day. Please contact Coach Eschbacher or Coach Hayes with any questions. There's a DECA meeting today after school at 3.30 in the large cafeteria. If you aren't able to go, stop by room B4. All right, so first off with some costume ideas, we got some scary costumes, which Ryan's going to show you. Some ideas that came to mind were some from some of my favorite scary movies, which are Pennywise, Freddy Krueger, Jason, and Michael Myers. Or take the simple route and get a scary mask like I did last year. This way you can dress accordingly to the weather without being tied down to the costume you are wearing, speaking of weather, here's weather with Paige. Today is going to be cloudy with a high of 70 and a low of 58 degrees. Tomorrow there's going to have a high of 75 and a low of 58 and a slight chance of rain. Friday is supposed to have a high of 74 and a low of 58 with some clouds. Now, John is going to show a different side with funny costumes. All right, so going along with the theme of like movies and that kind of thing, you could dress up like your favorite character from like some funny movies or like some other movies. Um, some ideas that I could think of are like Homer or Marge Simpson or any of the Simpsons, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, uh, Willy Wonka would be a good one, or like um, Edna Mode from The Incredibles. Uh, you could also go a different way and make up some like funny wordplay costumes like. Uh, like fake news, and you can wear like a shirt that says fake, and like uh, like pants or a dress that are like newspapers, or like butterfly, and dress up as like a giant stick of butter with wings, you know, just some random stuff like that. Um, and we'll give you some more ideas for group costumes after sports with Tanner. The gymnastics team was defeated by Whitesboro last night, 136 to 130. Rhiannon Bookshow scored an impressive 8.6 on the floor exercise on her way to 29th in the all-around. Ellie Mancini impressed with 27 points in the all-around and three events in the sevens. The boys' soccer team won last night against Cortland 7-1. Behoud and Malkic led the team with two goals, and Jackson Tedesco, Joel Alvarez, Armin Osmanovic, Garrett O'Donnell, and Zach Schufel all contributed one goal. The girls' soccer team beat Cortland 9-0 last night. Liam Rem led the team with four goals. Ashley Praxel had two goals. Angelina Paul Carroll, Natalie Peterson, and Giselle Malcolmham all scored a goal as well. 
Leah Shavesty, Chloe Welch, Natalie Peterson, and Angelina Polcaro all had assists, and Isabel Shavesty has had eight straight shutouts. The Boston Red Sox beat the New York Yankees 6-2 last night to move on to the American League Divisional Series against the Tampa Bay Rays. Tonight, the Los Angeles Dodgers face the St. Louis Cardinals in the National League Wild Card game. The winner will face the San Francisco Giants in the National League Divisional Series. And congratulations to the following athletes for receiving Athlete of the Week. Field Hockey forward Jenna Orlando, boys soccer striker Todd Durantini, gymnast Rhiannon Butchko, gymnast Katie DeMillo, and field hockey goalie Maura Lieb. And upcoming games across country runs against JD and Fulton at JD today. The goals will run at 4.30 and the boys will run at 5. Field hockey plays at home against Baldwinsville tonight at 6.15. And the and the wide team will play at CNS, at, actually will play CNS at home at 6.30. And I'm Tanner with your sports. And moving on with some more ideas. If you have a group of friends and are struggling to find costumes for you guys, we have an idea. All right, so I don't know if any of you guys have watched Squid Game on Netflix yet. Personally, I haven't, but it looks like it's a really cool show. Um, so if you haven't watched it, I would recommend watching that. And our ideas for a costume is one of you be the front man, some of you be the red guards, and some be the green players. Uh, you can also use this idea with like other movies and shows that you and your friends like. Well, that's all we have for you today. Hope we could help you with your costumes. And for me, Ryan and everyone else here at The Morning Show, have a great day.